Hello and welcome to the session on personality, concept and definition. The term personality is derived from the Latin word persona which the name was given to the mass that actors wore and the characters they portrayed. The term is often understood in terms of social attractiveness. It makes us believe that personality is a thing or quality that is possessed by all of us. We can paste labels such as fine, good or poor on it on the basis of the physical makeup, manner of walking, talking, dressing and a lot similar characteristics of individuals. But this view of personality is inadequate because it limits the number and types of behaviors considered important and worthy for incorporation into the study of personality. Moreover, such a notion implies that some people who have unique abilities, temperament and traits are devoid of any personality. In 1930, Watson tried to make the word personality synonymous with the consistent behavior pattern of an individual. According to him, Personality is a sum of activities that can be discovered by actual observations over a long enough period of time to give reliable information. Psychologists have attempted to explain the concept of personality in terms of individuality and consistency. Combining these notions of individuality and consistency, personality can be defined as the distinctive unique ways in which each individual thinks, feels and acts which characterize a person's response throughout life. Personality refers to all those relatively permanent traits, dispositions or characteristics within the person that give some measures of consistency to the person's behavior. Allport tried to give some useful definition. He concluded, personality is a dynamic organization within the individual of those psychophysical systems that determine his unique adjustment to his environment. This is considered as a comprehensive definition because it recognizes the dynamic nature and organization aspect of personality. It also emphasizes the role it can play in an individual's adjustment to his environment. Contemporary psychologists like Cattle, Ising, etc. are of the opinion that the true nature of personality cannot be understood by considering only behavioral or dynamic aspects. For cattle, personality is that which permits a prediction of what a person will do in a given situation. According to Ising, personality is a more or less stable and enduring organization of a person's character, temperament, intellect and physique which determine his unique adjustment to the environment. The definition given by Ising has very strong points. At the outset, it provides personality with a physiological base and gives a balanced consideration to the role of heredity and environment in building the personality. It gives a complete picture of human behavior by involving all of its aspects cognitive, cognitive and affective. It stresses the need for integration and organization of the behavioral characteristics. Besides, it aims at making personality somewhat measurable and accessible, thus giving it a scientific base. Another comprehensive definition was given by S. R. Maddy, an American psychologist. He views personality as an organized and integrated whole of definite characteristics and tendencies within the individual. This makes him correspond to the persons of his group, society, culture and nation and at the same time maintain the individuality and uniqueness of his personality. Maddy's definition follows, personality is a stable set of characteristics and tendencies that determine those commonalities and differences in the psychological behavior, thoughts, feelings and actions of people that have continuity in time and that may or may not be easily understood in terms of the social and biological pressures of the immediate situation alone. Characteristics of personality. Important characteristics of personality are as follows. Personality is something unique and specific. 
Every one of us is a unique person in oneself. Each of us has specific characteristics for making adjustment. This uniqueness does not mean that he has nothing to share with others in terms of characteristics of personality. Personality exhibits self-consciousness as one of its main characteristics. It includes everything about a person. It is all what a person has about him. So, it includes all the behavioral patterns that is cognitive, cognitive and affective and covers not only the conscious activities but goes deeper to the semi-conscious and unconscious too. Personality is not merely a collection of characteristics. Instead, it is an organization of psychophysical systems or some behavior characteristics and functions as a unified whole. Personality is relatively stable, but it cannot said to be static. It is dynamic and continuous in the process of change and modification. The process of making adjustment is continuous. One has to struggle with the environmental as well as the inner forces throughout one's life. As a result, one has to modify and change one's personality patterns and this makes the nature of personality dynamic. Sometimes personality is subjected to disorganization and disintegration. This leads to severe personality disorders on account of factors and conditions like severe anxiety, stress, traumatic experiences, prolonged illness and damage to the brain and nervous system. Every personality is a product of heredity and environment. These two factors contribute to the development of personality. A child is not born with a personality. Instead, it is developed as a result of continuous interaction with his environment. It is a fact that besides heredity, other factors like a constitutional makeup, social and cultural influences and experience and training all affect one's personality. An individual's personality can be described as well as measured. Learning and acquisition of experience contribute to the growth and development of personality. Every personality is the end product of this process of learning and acquisition. The term personality should not be confused with character and temperament. While the term character refers to the value judgments which are made about a person's moral values or ethical behavior, the term temperament refers to the inborn enduring characteristics such as adaptability, irritability, etc. However, both character and temperament are vital parts of personality. Personality stands for more than what the ego carries. Personality should be viewed differently from the ego or the individual self. The word ego is generally used for that unified part of one's personality which in ordinary language we call I. However, as the psychoanalytic view of personality advocated by Freud explains, it is only a small aspect of one's total personality. Every person's personality has one more distinguishing feature that is aiming to an end or towards some specific goals. Adler clearly asserts this view and is of the opinion that a man's personality can be judged through a study and interpretation of the goals which he has set for himself and the approaches he makes to the problems he faces in his life. Type approaches to personality. The earliest effort to explain human behavior involved the use of personality typologies which classified behavior into discrete all or nothing categories. For example, Hippocrates, a Greek physician classified individuals into four exclusive types according to four basic internal fluids or humors which associated with a particular temperament. In the years that followed, many more scholars and psychologists tried to divide people into types depending upon their own specific criteria. Personality type theories aim to classify people into distinct categories. Personality types are synonymous with personality styles. Types refer to categories that are distinct and discontinuous. For example, a person may be humorous or drab type. That is, the person is either this type or that type. 
Some of the well known and popular theories of personality type include the following. 1. The four humors based personality types. 2. Sheldon's personality types. 3. Ayurvedic body types. 4. Jungian types based on temperament. 5. Type A and type B personalities. 6. J blocks three personality types. Each of them is being discussed here. The four humors based personality types. The ancient Greeks lived 2000 years ago classified four types of humors in people based on the excess of one of the bodily fluids. Some of the names associated with this view are that of Hippocrates, Galen, etc. Each of the humors corresponds to the individual's characters. If the person has the dominance of blood in the body, his personality type is termed as sanguine. The sanguine personality is light-hearted, optimistic, happy, hopeful and accommodating. If the fluid yellow bile dominates in a person's body, his personality type is known as choleric. The temperamental characteristics associated with this type are irritability, anger, passion and strong with active imagination. Phlegmatic is a type of personality when the fluid phlegm or mucus dominates in a person's body. Such a personality is cold, calm, slow or sluggish and indifferent. If black bile dominates in an individual's body, he will be bad tempered, dejected, sad and his personality is termed as phlegmatic. The personality associated with this is one depressed personality. Thus, humors and bodily fluids made up the type of personality an individual has. Sheldon's somatotype personality. William Sheldon identified three types of personality called as somatotype in which he called three types of personality named endomorph, ectomorph and mesomorph. Entomorph is also called the visitorotonic and refers to a relaxed character, sociable, tolerant, comfort loving and peaceful. Such person's body build is plump and boxum. The mesomorph type of personality is generally an active type, assertive, vigorous and combative. Their body is muscular. The ectomorph is quiet type, fragile, restrained, non-assertive, sensitive with a body that of lean, delicate and poor muscles. No one person is purely a particular type. There is always a combination of the personality types. So, Sheldon classified a person's somatotype and giving a rating of 1 to 7 on each of the three body types. In this scale, 1 indicated very low and 7 indicated very high and in between there were more or less of the types of personality identified. Sheldon measured the properties of hundreds of juvenile delinquent boys and concluded that they were generally mesomorphs. Body types have been criticized for very weak empirical methodology and are not generally used in psychology. The use of somatotyping is more often seen in alternative therapies, Eastern psychology and spirituality. Ayurvedic body types or doshas. In Ayurvedic medicine, there are three main metabolic body types called as doshas. These three doshas are Vata, Pitta and Kapha. They are being discussed in detail. Those who have the predominance of Vata are characterized by changeability, unpredictability, variability in size, shape, mood and action. The persons will be moody, enthusiastic, imaginative and impulsive. They are equipped to grasp ideas quickly and are good at initiating things but poor at finishing them. They have energy fluctuations with jagged peaks and valleys. They are said to be able, tolerant, comfort loving and peaceful. Their shape will be slender with prominent features, joints and veins with cool dry skin. They eat and sleep erratically. They are prone to anxiety, insomnia premenstrual syndrome in women and constipation. Those who have the predominance of pitta are characterized by relatively quick articulate etc. 
they have biting intelligence, they can be critical or passionate with short explosive tempers. They are efficient and moderate in daily habits, they eat and sleep regularly, their shape will be medium build, strength and endurance. They have well proportioned and easily maintain a stable weight, often they have prone to ulcers, hemorrhoids and stomach ailments. Persons with a kapha type tend to be relaxed, they are slow to anger, slow to eat and act, they sleep long and heavily. They are said to procrastinate and be obstinate. Their body will be solid, heavy and strong with a tendency to be overweight. They are characterized by slow digestion and somewhat oily hair and cool damp pale skin. They are prone to high cholesterol, obesity, allergy and sinus problems. The vata, pitta and kapha doshas are correspond to Sheldon's ectomorph mesomorph and entomorph respectively. Jungian personality types Myers-Briggs the four temperaments. Jungian psychological types are probably the most widely used. It is the best known in everyday life. According to Jung, the ultimate psychological process is the process of individuation based on the strength and limitations of the psychological type. Myers-Briggs developed the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, a commercially available questionnaire which is widely used in business, training etc. This provides information and exercise for better understanding of one's own personality type and that of others with whom the individual interacts and works. Underlying all these typologies are four personality types. The first is extroversion and introversion. Generally a question is asked, do you recharge your energy via external contact and activity which is extroversion or spending time in your inner space that is introversion. The next is intuition and sensing. The question asked will be like this, do you rely on your inner voice that is intuition or observation that is sensing. The third is thinking and feeling. When making decisions, what do you rely most on? Your thoughts or your feelings? The last is judgment and perception. Do you tend to set schedules and organize your life or do you tend to leave the options open and see what happens? Using the given four letters, it is possible to have a unique four letter code to integrate each of the 16 union personality types. Example, I am an INTJ that is introverted, intuitive, thinking and judging type personality. Kaisi has renamed and reconceptualized the Jungian types, but they relate very closely to the Jungian types. Type A and Type B personalities. May Friedman gave this term Type A and Type B. He was a cardiologist and his patients were made to wait in a sitting room where he had put some sofas. He found that interestingly the patients who were very tensed and impatient sat at the edge of the sofa and these areas had become worn out. He hypothesized that his patients were impatient people who sat at the edge of their seats when waiting. He labeled these people type A personalities. Type A personalities are workaholics, always busy, driven, somewhat impatient and so on. On the other hand, Type B personalities are laid back and easy going. This term is used quite often in both scientific research and in common parlance. Bloch's personality type. J. Bloch in 1971 identified three personality types based on his work with adolescent boys. For instance, the three types are well adjusted or resilient person. They tend to be adaptable flexible, resourceful and interpersonally successful. Over controlling, this is a maladjusted type, they are said to be uptight and difficult to deal with persons. Under controlled, this is another maladjusted type, they seemed to be impulsive, risky and delinquent or even show criminal behavior, unsafe sex etc. 
While type theories of personality remained popular for a period of time, these theories were criticized as being too simple and that which did not take into consideration the multi-dimensional aspects and the continuous nature of the personality traits. Despite criticisms against the type theories of personality, there are yet certain strengths in these types of personality theories even though considerable weaknesses have been identified. Individual differences may be qualitative but not quantitative. In other words, there may be a difference in the qualities of personality traits that people possess rather than how much of a trait that one possess. So, measurement of these aspects in quantitative terms is rather difficult. A key strength of the personality approach is its simple applicability and person centered relevance. For example, one may be able to complete personality type profile for helping improve how people get along in relationship and at work. Let us summarize what we have discussed so far. The chapter discussed the concept of personality in detail, the different attempts to define personality and the important definitions are given. The relevant characteristics of personality are analyzed. The chapter provides a comprehensive picture of the type approaches to personality. These approaches classified behavior into discrete all or nothing categories. Some of the well known and important theories are discussed. It includes the four humors based personality types, Jungian type based on temperament, type A and type B personalities, J blocks 3 personality types etc. Now, you can try to answer the questions given here. What are the main characteristics of personality? Discuss and compare Sheldon somato type with that of Ayurvedic body types. Describe the 4 humors based personality types. Find out the importance of Jungian personality types. Now, you may go through the reference books for further reading. Personality Theory by R. Hogan, Prentice Hall, Englewood Cliffs, India, 1976. Advanced Educational Psychology by S. K. Munkal, Prentice Hall of India, New Delhi, India, 2007. The Varieties of Temperament, A Psychology of Constitutional Differences by W. H. Sheldon, Harper, New York, India, 1942. Thank you for watching this program. We can meet again with another topic. Have a nice day.